as you stomp through the world with your head down and your shoulders slumped, there's some guy out there beating you and taking what you want. Well, Bakihama is a perfect example for a male that is just starting or even on self-improvement. Baki, a teenager or a man just like the rest of you, who is jacked, charismatic, disciplined, determined, and purposeful. But how does one become more like Baki? Well, don't click off. Stay to the end and you will find out. Have a mission. We all know Baki had a mission. His mission was being better than his dad, right? He just wanted to beat his dad. But what is your mission or purpose? Something you feel so productive doing, something you feel like is your calling. God gave us all a purpose, but we just choose to not pursue that purpose. We all just want to do whatever the next big thing is. Like, what's the next big thing? SMA, maybe affiliate marketing, all these things. But are those truly your purpose? No. We climb other people's mountains because we want to be like them so badly. And Baki won't do that. Like me, bro, I would hop off my business model that I was just doing and then I'd go for, to another one and to another one and to another one. But that's not what you want to do. I love speaking, so that's why I chose YouTube. And since I posted that first video, I was in love, bro. And a thin love story, I know. No, but for real, bro, what's your mission? What's your purpose? Instead of being just so caught up in the new thing. Like when I was hopping from business model to business model, I was going from marketing to drop shipping to SMA back to affiliate marketing, back to SMA, and then affiliate marketing again, and then drop shipping. Just do what you love. There is something called Ikigai that we will go more into depth to in another video, so just subscribe and like to see that. But something that you love, that you can keep you financially stable and makes the world a better place. For example, if you love art so much, you want to show people how to become good artists in your style, you make a YouTube channel, but you have to edit. But that's okay, man. That's a good skill to have. And I'm in the process of learning how to edit too. I absolutely hate editing, as you can tell. But you're doing what you want, and you're learning a skill that can benefit you. Discipline is key. Okay, now more about Baki. Baki was so disciplined. He would stick to what he would say. He would train when no one else was watching. I mean, you gotta get up. You gotta be the one that's training, running in the cold, cold rain at four o'clock in the morning, even when you don't wanna do it. But how do you become like Baki? Just show up, dude, show up. Baki showed up, and how did that work? Look at him, bro. Even if that's a minute of meditation, or it's just 10 push-ups, you showed up, and you did the work. Baki would show up and do 100 times more, but he had a better physique, better everything. He was just way better. But he progressively overloaded. So after a while, you may start wanting to do three minutes of meditation and then a push workout. That's why Baki had such a good physique because he was so disciplined. And if you want a physique like that, you are going to need to be disciplined. That is an amazing way to become disciplined like Baki. It works like little baby steps. You need to take little steps. You can't just get to the top of the mountain. What you're doing is you see the summit, but you don't see anything else. So you're just trying to get there instead of having to go through the long journey. It's little baby steps, bro. Self-improvement is a hard thing. It's called self-improvement for a reason. You're improving and you're struggling. Baki couldn't beat his dad when he was little. He had to take an opponent out after another opponent. He had to keep taking out stronger opponents. Progressive overload. Hit the gym, bro. Hitting the gym was a leisurely thing for Baki. He would train, train, and train. But what else do you think he would do? But why don't you hit the gym more often? I thought you said to your 8th grade ex-girlfriend, you would get those abs and you would really show her who you were. But Baki was on the grind 24-7, bro. He was consistent. He was not going to back down from that grind. He was going to keep pushing, keep grinding, and he wanted to be so jacked. Well, clearly he was pretty jacked, and he was continuing to get more jacked. But if you want to look like him so badly, then why don't you stay consistent? This doesn't just go for the gym. This goes for everything in life. The gym literally goes for everything in life. You can literally apply everything that you apply for the gym in life. It's that simple. So stay consistent in praying. 
meditating, and reading. I can give you a bit of an exercise list, but that wouldn't do any good. Action step one, pause this video, go check out either my athletic and aesthetic video, or go find other videos online about how to build that Baki athletic body. Do, don't say. Baki didn't say. He did. He worked in silence when no one was watching. He was that guy at 4 o'clock in the morning running out in the cold rain. But only him and his mind were there. That's why he was just so disciplined and he was beating everybody. But you have no one to keep you accountable. So you just give up. Bucky kept himself accountable. He had that little voice in the back of his mind telling him, Hey, you're a pussy. You know that? If you don't do this, you're a coward. You have to build that voice in the back of your mind that's going to tell you, Hey, you suck if you don't do that. And Baki had such a crazy amount of voices in the back of his mind telling him, If he didn't do this, he would suck. So let me teach you how to do this like Baki. In the 48 Laws of Power, it talks about concealing your intentions. So why let others ruin your plans? You should never want to tell anybody the important stuff. That just ruins it all. They put all their shit into it. They ruin it. So instead of saying, do. Do something about it. Stop saying you're going to do something. Actually do something. Please. Baki was always doing something. He was always trying to improve. He was always trying to get better. But he wasn't saying it. Yeah, you're going to go around your school or your wherever you are, your house telling everybody you're going to improve, you're going to be this big businessman. Baki didn't do that. Baki just did. He did instead of said. Baki is a charismatic beast. Well, we all know Baki's charismatic. Everybody floods towards him. He's that one guy, that one guy video you always see on YouTube. How to become that guy video, all that. He's that guy. He is him. He is that charismatic guy that attracts people towards him. Surely through just walking through a crowd. He is very charismatic. And if you don't see that, well, where have you been, bro? You've not been watching the same Baki that I watched. Everybody liked him because he had that aura around him. But you need to build that aura. Baki had that aura. You know how he built that? Through years of not just fighting, but trying to be social, trying to ha get friends. Notice when he was a little kid and he was on his training arc for his dad. Well, not just a big training arc, but the one right before his fight with his dad. He tried making all these friends for everybody to help him. He was so charismatic. Everybody was so attracted to his energy. But why? How do you do this? Well, dude, you need to have a decent reputation, number one, or give yourself a good reputation. Well, I've seen these videos on YouTube before that are like, why you should be the chill guy. And yeah, I love that. You should be the chill guy. Everybody has a chill side to themselves. But Baki, yeah, he was a chill guy. You need to be the chill guy. But you also need to be the charismatic guy. The guy that can have social skills and is not just an introvert. Talk to other people. And, you know, I'm naturally an introvert. But I would break out of my shell and talk to people once I started self-improvement. Because, hey, you should improve just like Baki did. Learn to be charismatic and... Being charismatic is all about how you carry yourself, your energy, your body language, everything. So Baki would never have shit energy. He always projected good onto the world. Strong, powerful will. Just be like Baki. Thank you for watching. That last part right there, I didn't use a script. I forgot to finish my script last night. I was feeling absolutely awful. I did an hour of just pure deep work and I just couldn't finish my script at all so we're gonna pray that that turned out well tell me if it did please leave feedback i've seen feedback i mean honestly i love, I love the feedback because it tells me what i need to fix and for all those people in my last video that were leaving 
you should still play video games. My friends care about all that. You know, you're just motivating me to post more videos and spread to more people that message. So thank you. Thank you. Because I will do what David Goggins does. And I will repeat that into a video and I'll listen to it for hours. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to achieve that Baki mindset. Have a blessed day, bro. Peace.